century of development, the U.S. Navy has solved the one problem preventing aircraft carriers from dominating the world. Historically, carrier aircraft are weaker than land-based aircraft, but not anymore. The U.S. Navy's new sixth-generation fighter is so powerful, it bears the exact same name with the Air Force's newest and most powerful beast, a name that sends a message. The Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter. This fighter packs capabilities that qualify it as science fiction technology from the future. And maybe it is of the future, but shockingly, we've already seen the fighter today. And it's all thanks to nothing else but Lockheed's shocking new way of celebrating. Hints of some interesting spoilers from the largest defense corporation in the world, Lockheed Martin, began on July 1, 2023. Lockheed Martin posted a series of images on Instagram in celebration of the 80th anniversary of the firm's legendary Skunk Works division. Most of the simple drawings posted on Instagram represented groundbreaking aircraft designed and fielded by the Skunk Works over the past eight decades, like the U-2 spy plane, SR-71 Blackbird, F-117 Nighthawk, and F-22 Raptor. But the final image in this post didn't resemble any known Lockheed Martin from the past. It resembled a fighter yet to be built, a fighter fit for the future. Suspicions rose on if this was America's next air superiority fighter, while others believed Lockheed would never reveal America's next fighter prematurely. Or would it? Well, a few weeks ago, Lockheed Martin doubled down. In continuation of its 80th anniversary celebrations, a new similar ad surfaced that highlighted Lockheed's innovations over the years and once again featured a fighter that looks ready to dominate the future skies. The design of the fighter was in line with almost everything known about America's Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter, or NGAD Fighter for short. But there's some crucial information that the world doesn't readily know, such as the fighter's connection to an elite group of X-Planes and the U.S. Navy. X-Planes are any groundbreaking experimental aircraft of the U.S. military designed to wield new and unfielded technologies. Once an aircraft is unique enough to drop jaws, it's an X-Plane. The NGAD fighter fits the profile like a glove. For one, it is unique and ushers in an entirely new generation of aircraft. Secondly, it actually began right from the very start as a highly classified X-Plane effort back in the year 2014 under a study titled The Dominance Initiative, which was carried out by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. The effort resulted in multiple prototypes, which combined cost almost a billion dollars to produce. But it was all worth it. The prototypes demonstrated never-before-seen combat capabilities that were so impressive, the U.S. military got straight to working on a next-generation fighter that would replace the F-22 Raptor and dominate the skies for decades to come. This was how the NGAD program came to be. With a budget of about $1 billion, DARPA, the Air Force, and the Navy had enough to fund their individual efforts on a next-generation fighter. The age-long confusion of the U.S. Air Force and Navy teaming or no teaming stems from this. There was widespread assumption that the Air Force and Navy were both developing the same fighter, since both services were said to be developing the next-generation air dominance fighter. But this wasn't the case. Despite the twin names, the two services were developing completely different fighters, although they'll likely share technologies, concepts, and ideas. The fighter would replace the F-A-18 Super Hornet in the Navy and the Raptor in the Air Force. DARPA's efforts in the program had made it clear to both the Air Force and Navy that instead of a single fighter, the Air Superiority Fighter program would best produce a family of systems headed by an Air Superiority Fighter. Each member of the family would be assigned a specific specialty or be versatile enough to take up various secondary roles. Much progress has been made in the NGAD program. In 2020, former Air Force acquisition official Will Roper made headlines around the world when he revealed that a technology demonstrator related to the NGAD program had already flown with meaningful success. While the majority of the program has remained top secret, birds have gone around chirping on the otherworldly capabilities both NGAD fighters of the Air Force and Navy could have. 
And here they are. As a quick recap, NGAD stands for Next Generation Air Dominance. It is America's sixth generation program tasked with developing the future generation family of systems that will ensure air superiority for U.S. forces in the most challenging operational environments. The family of systems includes new sensors, weapons, unmanned aerial vehicles, and other technologies all led by the sixth generation fighter referenced in Lockheed Martin's July Instagram post and November ad. How capable will this leader be? It's time to find out. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section, also known as vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a revolutionary design. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the $2 billion B-2 Spirit, the world's most expensive aircraft. Open Architecture Decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it already is especially with near-peer adversaries getting more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables it to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to new battlefield challenges introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. Advanced Sensors and Weapons To gather relevant information about its surroundings quickly and act on that information, the NGAD fighter is fitting to wield the most advanced sensors and weapons to come out of the U.S. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity, in part thanks to the Air Force doing away with radars mounted on the aircraft for electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. Information acquired by the fighter's sensors will be made available to other members of the fleet, whether sixth generation or not, to keep the entire fleet of friendlies abreast of relevant information in real time. Regarding weapons, the NGAD fighter is expected to be armed to the teeth with the widest array of advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. Of these, laser weapons are the most headlining, for understandable reasons. For one, they have unlimited magazines, as they can continue to fire for as long as they're connected to power sources. Next, they strike targets at a speed of 180,000 miles per second the speed of light, the fastest thing in the universe. Then they're also autonomous, as they execute most of their work without human intervention. The Air Force has multiple laser weapons in the works, but the most promising of these remains the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is being developed by a team of Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin, three of the most capable defense contractors in the world and the three most likely contenders to build the fleet of sixth generation NGAD fighters. The Navy also has its laser weapons in the works, the most headlining of which is the High Energy Laser with Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, or Helios for short. A scalable multi-mission laser weapon packed with up to 150 kilowatts of target grilling energy. Helios is set to begin at-sea testing on the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer USS Preble. Optimistic about Helios and its tests, the Navy has already ordered at least one more Helios system for integration on another Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. And according to the Helios contract, the Navy could order up to 14 more of these systems at the cost of almost $1 billion. Therefore, should Helios become all it promises to be, it could find a home on multiple different Navy ships, including aircraft carriers, where it would work alongside the Navy's NGAD fighter to bring victory to America's forces. Each NGAD fighter of the Air Force and Navy will be accompanied on missions by loyal wingman drones flying alongside. 
The drones, known in the Air Force as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, and in the Navy as, let's just stick to CCAs. These CCAs will perform many missions according to the orders of the manned NGAD fighter. This way, each NGAD fighter would operate as a mini fleet of aircraft. Combined with the fact that the NGAD fighter and its loyal wingman would take off from the most powerful aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Gerald Ford, it's pretty clear that American dominance on the seas is only about to get even more dominating. So once again, after a century of development, the U.S. Navy has solved the one problem preventing aircraft carriers from dominating the world, a carrier-based fighter that can truly hold its own in the skies. To speed up this fighter's development, the Navy wants you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.